Beyond the reef and the rainforest is an area the size of Tasmania and is famous for its beautiful produce. It's known as the food bowl of the tropics. Folks, it is the Atherton Tablelands. That's called that for very good reason. There are a feast of crops in the region and the foodstuffs and delicacies you can try out here presents a mouth-watering list from the fruits, the veggies, the cheeses, the nuts, the list goes on. It is the supermarket of the north, folks. And if you're a little bit greedy, like me, you want to sample as much as you possibly can in one day, well, you can. It's possible thanks to Brett's Outback Tasting Tours, the new kid on the block for foodie trips in this region. And our guide for the day is the brains behind it and its namesake, Brett Cameron. So, mate, there must be a lot going on in this region for you to uh, start up a tour to take us lovely people all around to see them all. Yeah, it's an amazing uh, area as far as crops go. There's just a, such diversified uh, crops around the place and uh, originally started off with tobacco and went into everything you can imagine. The soil's so uh, deep and dark and rich, plenty of sunshine and plenty of irrigation, so it's, uh, we thought we'd need to do something like that. Our first taste of the Tablelands is in Mariba, 70 k's west of Cairns, at De Bruy's Boutique Wines. Ooh, Elaine, good job, that is beautiful. Now, this isn't any average winery, as these delicious drops aren't made from grapes, no. They ferment an assortment of tropical fruits into whites, reds, ports and liqueurs. This is a great way to kick off a tour. Down the road in Walkerman is another producer who uses homegrown ingredients in their creations. So welcome to Mount Uncle Distillery guys. Today I need to get to try either our uh, double gold medal winning Iridium rum or our Botanic Australis gin, both of which we're uh, notoriously known for. From humble beginnings as a banana farm to now being Tropical North Queensland's first and only distillery. And it's no surprise, owner Mark Watkins is quite the advocate for using local produce. We source our sugar cane from the mill just down the road. Pretty much most of the botanicals for our gin are grown here as well. Our vodka is made from honey collected from uh, the tracks of bush around the distillery and for the marshmallow queue we just make up a big vat of marshmallow. So. <laughs> a tour of the Tablelands no doubt means there's plenty of food to sink your teeth into. <laughs> After a delicious wood-fired pizza lunch at Mount Uncle's, there's a stop at the famous coffee works for a cuppa and chocolate. Hey, who's this place, mate? This is my sixth little cup. Come on, run home. You've got another 29 to taste, the 35 different flavours. Oh, I better hurry. Although I do have to go and buy my body weight in chocolate too. Where's the chalky section? Just over ready? here, mate. <laughs> but I reckon Brett saved the best treat for last. It's that good, I'm forbidden to speak of its whereabouts. Geez, you can pick the spots, mate. This is incredible. Great spot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and this is all for us. Yeah. All very much for us. And if we keep uh, our eyes peeled, we might find Igor the platypus. Igor the platypus. Yeah, he surfaces and every now and then he performs like a circus clown. Sometimes he doesn't. So Igor might be a bit camera shy, but the real star of the show is a platter of local gallo, dairy land cheese and tropical fruits. Yum! A lot of people know the reef, they know the rainforest, and they don't get to know the tablelands, which is another jewel in our crown in this, in this part of the region. And so much what the tablelands has to offer in different landscapes, in different foods, in different uh, crops and, and uh, farming situations. It's just a fantastic part yeah. of the world, as you can see just here. Yeah, it is beautiful, mate. Was that eagle or is that a bubble? That's a bubble. We've only given you, of course, a small taste of Brett's Outback Tasting Tours. And I think for $155, it's not a bad way to sample the Tablelands. Brett picks up and drops off in Port Douglas, so for those staying in Cairns, it's only an hour drive back to your hotel.